In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to print a five color spot process job on the automatic. Okay, we are ready for production. I'm going to hit, I'm going to keep it in foot pedal on at first, put it in auto start, and hit begin production. You see, I have my two shirts on, so now I'm going to hit my foot pedal. It's going to go to the first station and it's going to start doing its thing. And I'm going to set the camera on a stand. I'm going to load some shirts on this press and then I'll come back and show you how everything is looking around the press.
Okay, so we found some little pinhole issues. Uh, in order to fix a pinhole, you're in the middle of production. Just put it on start stop, or excuse me, a stop manual. And let's see, okay, we did our white base on this one. Okay, that's looking fine. Here is the print. You guys can see it's looking pretty awesome. But we're getting a little of an issue here. And that looks looks like silver to me. So I'm gonna go over to my silver palette and then or screen. I'm gonna tape that off and then we're gonna get right back at it. Okay, found where the, the issue is at. Here's where we left off. Since we already did the white base on this one, I'm gonna put that back under the station. I'm gonna put it in auto start. And because we already have shirts printing in sequence, we do not need to hit the begin in production button. So now we're just going to move forward. I'm gonna hit my pedal. Let's get advance on to the next shirt. getting a little harder to see things it's dark outside now okay because the issue was on the previous screen do keep in mind that you will have to either wipe off or tape off the screen uh, screens screens thereafter so I had to tape this off as well and while we got this thing stopped we're gonna check the ink real quick I'm gonna go ahead and scrape some of this ink back after doing so many dozens of shirts and prints you do have to scrape your ink back so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the white to the red and I'm gonna do it to all of them for the most part so don't try and do that while this thing is running just put it in start stop grab your spatula whatever you're using and then just scoop the ink to the side So I did turn the print head off on this because, well, I need to collect some of this ink back here, pull it forward, which can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. All right, that should be good enough. Move this thing back into position. Ah, we got plenty of ink behind it. All right, looks like we're all set. I'm gonna put that underneath head number one, or color number one. Auto start again. Make sure my print is on. And now we're gonna get busy. One thing you do have to be careful about is making sure your collar is completely flat. If it sticks up, the flashback will scorch it. Ask me how I know. Last but not least, 
least I'm going to put this in auto mode. Uh, you will have to play with your controls and the speed of everything to get that set right. So I'm going to put it in auto mode, but I'm going to keep it a little bit on the slower side. So that way I don't have to walk around and adjust everything. Because we're just about finished with this job. what I mean, I wasn't paying attention for a second. Start doing the thing. Now I'm going to hit in production. Now that's the last shirt. All the print heads are going to start turning off in sequence. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this video was at least helpful in some way. I tried to cover as much as I could while we're trying to get this job done and accomplished by the end of the day. I was running out of time, so I didn't get to film as much as I would have liked to, but it's still pretty informal, isn't it? If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget we are an official rep for Catspit Productions. So use our promo code Mikey Designs at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. You'll get $5 off your screen printing supply or equipment purchase. And it'll help support us little guys over here. Till next time, we'll see you later.